In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can create a tile map into Godot 4.1. We're going to learn how to make an auto tile tile map using the new Terrain function. We're going to learn also how to set up layer into our uh, tile map. And we're going to do that within 10 minutes. If you don't have the asset, the asset is available in the description of this video. Uh, I have put a link to my HIO and my link to other stuff as well. So you can go there and check it. And anyway, let's get started. So for creating our background, what we need to do is first we need to uh, create a tile map. So we need to click on our main level, click on the plus and look for a node that is called tile map. That tile map, I'm going to rename it ground. And uh, here, when you select it, uh, you go to the right and you have tile set empty. We're going to click on it and we're going to click on new tile set. Now you can see that here it makes appears that sort of grid line here. Uh, and so this is like the size of our uh, of our tile map, it's like a 16 by 16. For having access to that, you can click on tile set. And now here you can see we have 16 by 16. If I change the ratio, you can see that here, if I put 32 by 32, it changed the size, but me, oh, no, nope. <laughs> but me, I'm just using like 16 by 16 uh, uh, pixel um, sprite sheet, so that's gonna be fine. Uh, so now what we need to do is we need to import our sprite sheet, and our sprite sheet is in background, uh, it's there. I've made some modification, I'm gonna show you, it's right there. I have uh, just add this, um, this thing, so like this I can show you how to make the auto tile. So uh, basically, here what we want is we want to take our sprite sheet and we just want to slide it here. And when we do that, it's going to ask us if we want to create an atlas. So we're going to say yes. And Godot is going to automatically create an atlas for us. And so here now we can access our different uh, image. But now what we need to do is we need to set up the auto tile. Because here what I would like to do is like I would like to have those tiles to be uh, painted automatically when I'm just like want to draw some things. And so for that, I need to be here on tile set. So if you don't see this part, ground and then tile set you click here and we're gonna go here to terrain terrain is basically the the new uh, version of auto tile and so here we're gonna add an element and that element i'm just gonna click here on terrain add element and i'm gonna just give it a name it's gonna be ground and for the color i'm gonna change i'm gonna put something like this it's gonna be nice something like that so now we have that uh, we have the possibility to access that into our uh, tile set so for that we need to not be on setup you can see here we have different mode we have select and we have paint we need to be into paint uh, here paint property you have select the property editor and uh, we can go to terrain and now we can go to terrain state no terrain we can add a new terrain terrain set zero and then here we can see that we have terrain no terrain and if we click on it we have our ground that is right there so we can pick it up like this and so now if i zoom you can see we have some little white dot the white dot is an indicator that uh, you haven't configured anything here yet so what i want to do is i want to select this tile set this part of the tile set here and now that I have done that, I want to just set up the auto tile. You can see that automatically, after I have selected this portion of the, the, the atlas, uh, Godot is like now creating this little white square here. That little white square subdivide each tile into nine parts. This is that little white square that we're going to use for uh, basically uh, giving indication to our uh, to, to Godot to, for, for the order of painting of those style and so you can see that here right now I'm just painting by uh, left clicking on my mouse and so I can just come here like this like this and so now with that done, I have created my auto tile. I don't need to set up any collision shape on this specific uh, part of the atlas because this is going to be just the ground that I'm going to use to uh, create my uh, my background. So now for using this, I can save, I can go to tile map right there and I can go to terrain and I can go to ground and then this happen right there. And uh, if you don't see it, sometimes you just need to get out of it and to go back to it. That sometimes it works like this. Uh, but in Godot 4.1 now it's quite stable. I haven't seen uh, that uh, too much. And so now I can just start to paint. The only thing I need to do is here at, at the moment I am on the move mode. And so I just need to go here to the select mode. And so now you can see that uh, my, um, my tile is uh, like showing. And so now I can do something like this, like this, 
like this and so now I can use the paint tool I can paint all of this and I can paint automatically the zone like that but the problem is that when you use Godot uh, sometimes Godot you need to repass basically to some uh, some part if you want to erase something you just have to do a right click and then it will erase but me I need here to pass because the um, the the auto tiling is not perfect yet so sometimes you need to adjust it you can also see for example here there's like uh, something doesn't pop up right so here i just need to tap and that's good and another thing is that uh, now my uh, player has disappeared so for that what we're going to do is just we're going to go to ground and we're going to go to ordering and we're going to uh, wire sort enable and we're going to put that into like uh, less um, less um, bigger or z index so here we're going to put minus five and so now we can see our player so if i launch the game now i have my uh, ground that has been uh, painted which is great so now we need to continue and we need to create new uh, things so like you can create an animated uh, tile i don't have them uh, yet here so like i will add them in a future uh, video uh, but this is the basic for like uh, painting our ground one thing that is important to uh, show you here is that you can also create layer and so for creating layer like i'm just going to show you i'm going to go back to my uh, tile map right there and here you can see that we have layer zero uh, basically we have the possibility to create different layer and so here you can create other layer that you can uh, juxtapose on each one so for example here i can go to layer and you can see here uh, this is my layer i don't have a name yet but if i change it i can say ground and you can see that it has changed it and i can add a different element to that so for example i can click on the plus here and i can put stones and so now i can pick up some element of the uh, the, the atlas and i can just uh, technically like uh, use that to paint it so for doing so what i can do is i need to get out of the tile set and i need to go to the tile map and then here i can uh, just click on a selection i am on tile i can pick up a portion of my atlas and then i can come here i can paint and then now what I can do is like I can either like paint everything like you see right now but if I do that it's gonna paint on the ground and it's gonna destroy my ground behind it but I'm still gonna show you so I can do that and you can see that now my ground has disappeared so that's not what I want what I want is I want here to select the stone layer I have created so I come here and I just click on select now I can for example put some portion here 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 and if i launch the game it's gonna work fine okay perfect but now i can also do something else which is that basically what i can do i'm gonna um, uh, undo all of that it's like i can use that little dice here and this is placing random tile as it uh, suggests so here if for example i am uh, you can see that i have my uh, my selection has been replaced by that y square right there and if i just uh, press and i click uh, on that white square you can see that it replaces all the tile randomly but again that's not what i want because i don't automatically want to um, paint all the times the the, the 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 selection that i have made here what i want is i want to just have a scattering that's going to place randomly for me uh, element on that um, on that layer so here for example i can put eight and instead of using the paint tool uh, i can use the uh, rec tool i'm just going to show you with the paint tool what it does so for example for now it does nothing specific but like i need to go back here voila so now if i paint you can see that it doesn't uh, all the time um, put a tile here okay but again there's a better solution for that which is using direct and so now what i can do is like i can just draw a selection like this and it's gonna place random tile for me and so now you can see that with a uh, very little effort now i have something that looks like a little bit more like uh, how to say a bit more natural a bit more lively although we are using like uh, um, globally the same tile but we can continue to do that and so if for example i can change the uh, the thing and uh, one thing that you need to be very careful about when you're doing with uh, when you're dealing with that is just what i've done right now it's like sometimes you can get an eraser for like some reason uh, so here you need to be like on this one and then you can paint 
and then it's gonna paint randomly uh, like uh, you're gonna place some tile randomly according to the scattering you have set up and for example here if I put 14 and I'm getting out of it like I'm going back to it I'm putting that is it still on the scattering of 14 that's fine so now what I can do is like I can just erase I can just pick on erase here and I can erase all of this and now I can just toggle off the erase and just be on the on rect and I can just paint all of this and you can see that the scattering is like uh, it's painting less placing less uh, random tile here so for me on average I think that seven six or seven can between six and eight can be a good uh, a good thing so here you can put that like this voila seven like this i'm just gonna erase that and then i'm gonna toggle off the eraser and i'm just gonna put that and you can see that right now it helps uh to uh, create something a little bit more lively uh, and stuff and so now you have like learned um, the basic of creating an auto tile in uh, in Godot and you have also learned how to like place randomly tiles and creating layers so that's a good thing and we're going to continue to uh, create more things for the game so I will see you in the next video so that's it for this video I hope it has been helpful for you if it's the case don't hesitate to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel uh, and also check the link in the description if you want I have courses I have lots of things in the, in the description so anyway I want to thank you for watching and I will see you next time bye